So let's talk about measuring perimeter. Perimeter is the distance around the outside of a polygon. Remember, a polygon is a shape that has all straight sides and it has to be closed. So a square is a polygon, a rectangle is a polygon, a triangle is a polygon, a circle is not, and if you just squiggle on your paper, also not a polygon. Perimeter is the distance around the outside of a polygon. And we can measure, it, we can use perimeter to measure the distance around a garden, a pool, or a backyard. In fact, if you wanted to walk a square or a rectangle around the outside of your house, that would be finding perimeter. Now, perimeter is measured in inches, centimeters, feet, and yards. Pretty much any unit that's used to measure length can be used to find perimeter. Now remember, when you're finding perimeter, it's the outs, it's the measurement around the outside. So if you look at this rectangle right here, we're going to measure the outside. See where these arrows are pointing? That is the perimeter, the entire outside of the, the rectangle. Now one of the ways to find perimeter is to use repeated addition. You add up the measurements of the sides and you'll get the perimeter. So if you look at this rectangle, we see that our sides are measured 8 inches, 4 inches, 8 inches, and 4 inches. So if I take 8 inches plus 4 inches, that gives me 12 plus 8 more inches, 12 plus 8 is 20, plus 4 more would give me 24. 8 plus 4 plus 8 plus 4, and that would give me 24. The perimeter of this rectangle is 24 inches. Now what is the perimeter of this triangle? So if you look, it has three sides. 5 feet, 5 feet, and 5 feet. And remember, we're going to use repeated addition. So we're going to add 5 plus 5 plus 5. If you add that up, 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 5 more is 15. So what is the perimeter of the triangle? The perimeter is 15 feet. Now, when finding the perimeter of a square or a rectangle, remember that the sides are going to be congruent. So if we look here at this particular rectangle, you'll notice we have four sides, but only two of the sides have measurements on them. All right, so if we look, this side right here says six inches. So what does that make this side down here, the one facing it? Well, that's going to be six inches as well. And so if this side over here is four inches, what is this side over here going to be? Well, it's also going to be four inches. And so if we add up 6 plus 6 inches plus 4 inches plus 6 inches plus 4 inches, we're going to find out that the perimeter of this uh, rectangle is going to be 20 inches. 6 plus 4 is 10, plus 6 more is 16, plus 4 is 20 inches. Now another way to find the perimeter of a polygon is to count the units on each side. So if you look at this square right here, this yellow square, uh, each side of this square has four units. One, two, one, two, three, four. All right, and then you count the other side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four across. One, two, three, four up. And when you add up all of the sides, four plus four plus four plus four, you will have 16 units. So what is the perimeter of this rectangle? So let's count. One, two, three, four, five. The, uh, the side along the top has five units. One, two, three units going down. Then going uh, the other side is going to have five units. One, two, three, four, five. And then this final side over here, the one that isn't labeled yet, is also going to have one, two, three units. So when we add those together, five plus three is eight plus five more is 13, plus three 
is 16. So the perimeter of this rectangle is going to be 16 units. Now just some reminders before we go. Remember, perimeter is the distance around the outside of a polygon. You don't count the inside, only the outside, like you were putting a fence on something. And we can use perimeter to measure the distance around a garden, a pool, or a backyard. Pretty much anything you could walk around, you could measure the perimeter. So this has been how to uh, measure perimeter. I uh, hope it's been helpful and uh, good luck on your activities.